Hi everybody who is watching this video. Uh, my name is uh, Olenjolai Moko from the beautiful and fantastic country, United Republic of Tanzania. I would like to welcome you into this fantastic lecture tool of uh, statistics and probability for undergraduate students. So uh, before just we go into the inside the lecture of today, I would like just to welcome you into our official YouTube channel that's called Under. Uh, called the online undergrad, this is the abbreviation of an undergraduate poly institute. So this is polytechnic, it's the abbreviation of polytechnic, and then institutes of 40 of Tanania. So this is the abbreviations of the two ways, polytechnic and the institute of Tanania in square brackets, orange July oil M. And today we are in departments of engineering and science mathematics. So engineering mathematics and scientific mathematics, or we call it engineering and science mathematics. And the modules that I'm going to teach you is called probability and statistics. Uh, then you start these modules in many of you, many institutions, colleges, and institutions of the United Republic of Tanzania, and even worldwide in Africa, in North America, in South America, uh, in Asia, in Australia, according to my research, it's taught in the second second semester in most universities. And for BNG, this is Bachelor Engineering, it's for undergraduate students. And then the topic that I'm going to teach you is just a continuation of the topic that I've already taught you. And the lecture once is already in this YouTube channel. It's called Statistic Estimation, the same chapter according to the contents. Because remember that I told you in lecture one, the reference institution the reference, the reference curriculum that I'm going to use on teaching these modules is the, the curriculums of the Islam Institute of Technology. So it has uh, it, the, the module com comprises only four topics, and this is the same topic that called statistical estimation. This is the second lecture. So I'd like to do a quick review of lecture one, then we go inside the lecture two. So uh, in order for you to be well connected or to be uh, well informed about what is going on on this YouTube channel because we'll be uploading, we'll always, we are, uh, we'll always upload many videos on this YouTube channel. So I insist you to make sure that you sign in in YouTube and also subscribe so that you get notifications once we upload any new video onto this YouTube channel. Again, share this material with other students who are Focused or who are this moment, or so maybe in near future, they are going to pursue undergraduate studies in the fields of engineering and also science. So, if that the case, remember that also the prerequisites of this module or of these contents is the contents you cover during your uh, ordinary diploma studies in engineering or so science, and all or during your advanced level studies. In, uh, in, in science, because in science, regardless whether you did the PCM or PCB or the CBG, you know, or even sometimes the CBN, so you did basic math, applied mathematics and advanced mathematics. So we need those concepts in case of learning this stuff. But not only that, also even the statistics and probability you learn during your all level studies is well uh, referred when we have been learning this model. So, I believe that this channel is for the senior students, so make sure that you have all your materials for learning and make sure that you consecrate them. Repeat this video several times as well as you can. In case you have questions, don't hesitate yourself to ask in the comment sections below of this video. Read also the descriptions of this video for more information and even to know some other channels that are used to train students. So I believe that now you are ready, let us go to the session. Okay, so in lecture one, uh, uh, our focus was introduction. So we did just introduction. So introduction, intro of the channel, okay, of the online school that where you are because you are offering the online schools. And also, uh, uh, it means that I, 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 I introduced it to you about reference, reference books and materials. So reference books and materials. So that's what uh, I have introduced it to you. Reference books, we have books, we have materials that are useful in teaching uh, probability and statistics. But also, I mentioned something that prerequisites and post-requisites, that this is a very important uh, module for research, so for postgraduate studies. And also, I share to you uh, about my big picture, if you remember that, my big picture of mathematics, right, of maths, if you remember that, 
when I've been breaking down the how I used to define. But he also have shared to you the contents of 40 of the module. So it means that they broke those the requirements according to the curriculums and then break and formulating uh, different concepts contents we call I call them concepts. Okay? Again uh, we have what uh, I told you about the terminologies. What are the terminologies terminologies uh, of what of statistic estimation? So when you want to learn about statistic estimation, then we should be familiar with terminologies technologies that use the in statistic estimation. So in case that you didn't go through that lecture, make sure that you go because you stay in this YouTube channel before you come back into the lecture two. So today in lecture two, I will be teaching because one of the, uh, some of the terminology I talked about the estimator, talked about point estimator, I talked about interval estimator, and then we define what the means of estimations. I told you about bias estimator and unbiased estimator, you see. So I told you about the almost eight terminologies which are very important. And I left the homework for you if you, I think that you have gone through it and you have answered that questions, that is fine. So today I would like to teach you in uh, in this lecture too, I will teach you about pointy estimator. So the concept of today, I will teach you about pointy estimator, say pointy estimator. So pointy estimator, okay, pointy estimator for a mean, now pointy estimator for mean variance and the standard deviation. However, that is the way we learn them, or we learn those pointy estimators. Uh, remember about the statistical tables that have been seen, pointy estimation, or pointy estimator, pointy estimator of 40 of mean. When you say mean, our main focus is mean of population. Right, but sometimes it's difficult to deal with a huge population. Okay, mean and then variance, variance, and the standard deviation. And the standard deviation, standard deviation, okay, standard deviation. So when you say about point estimator of this uh, standard deviation of 40 of population because that is our target of population. The subject is very interesting. I like it and even I encourage you also to like this concept and in case that you don't like, believe me that I will be transferring you step to step uh, in order to love this one. So let us start with point estimator of a population mean. So let us start with this because we have three concepts there. Pointy, so say pointy estimator, so pointy estimator of 40 of population mean, of population mean, pointy estimator of population mean. So when you say population mean, this is the symbol for population mean. So whenever we are dealing with mean, means means that average, we have a huge population of objects or populations of uh, of things or populations of people, maybe students, you want to do a research populations in a particular gender, whether female or maybe male gender. So you want to estimate, to have a point estimate. Remember that the difference between the point estimator, we say that the point estimator gives us the actual value of what or the fixed value of mean. That's the difference. While the interval estimator of mean, for example, is give us an interval, a range of values from the smallest value to the uh, largest value. And we do, we have a confidence, something that I will teach you later about the confidence interval, or we are real confidence that the mean of that particular population lies between that, uh, that specific range. So specifically, because uh, we have told you about what the means of point estimator, don't want to waste much of your time. We just need to we want to speak mathematically. We say that let x1, x2, okay, and then x3 to xm. So this is finite data. Donate a sample. So donate a sample. Donate a sample. Drone. Drone. Donate a sample. Drawing from a population, from a population, 
okay, from a population whose mean is unknown. Whose mean is unknown. So whose mean is unknown. So we don't know its mean, so we have to find. Okay? So we, we can use that sample. It means that in a sample mean can be used to estimate. Uh, can be used as an estimator of the population mean. So remember that this is the population mean. So you say that in the sample mean, the sample mean, this sample mean, if you do remember in chapter two, uh, we told, we gave you a special notation for this. This is the way that we notate. It means that mu is a subscript of x bar. Okay, the sample mean may be used as Printing estimator, print estimator of what? Of population mean. Of population mean. Population mean it means that this is a population mean. Right? So it may be using uh, population mean. Since the sample mean is unbiased estimator, so say that in the sample mean, so since the sample mean, Sample mean, the mean that sample mean, this one is unbiased. So, what the means of unbiased estimator? Refer lecture one, I've already told you. Unbiased estimator of what? Unbiased estimator of mean. <coughs> of mean. Then we say that, if that's the case, we say that then. Mean, this we call the mean of sampling species of mean will be equal to the mean of 40 of population. So that's all, that's the concept that you should know in order to solve problems concerning about 20th meter of 40 of mean. Okay, so now we have example. So this will be, uh, we have example, and this example will be. Can call it example. Okay, so let us call it example one. However, that you have the homework, so maybe example two to you. So to estimate, so the question read that to estimate the average amount, to estimate the average amount of damage, amount of damage, estimate the average amount of damages, claim. Amount of damage is claimed in in fires, okay? In fires at medium size, at medium size, apartment complexes, apartment complexes, complexes, apartment complexes, apartment complexes, apartment complex complexes. A consumer, a consumer organization sampled, organization sampled, sampled the files, sampled the files of a large insurance company. Large insurance company. So make sure that you write this question, okay, insurance company, and you consecrate the insurance company to come up with come up with so the aim to come up with sort with the following with the following. The following in thousands of dollars. In thousands, in thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. For ten claims. Ten claims. And this is one hundred and one. Then this is fifty-five. This is 63, this is 12, another data is 8 files, 
students in another claims they have 141, then 42, then 51, then 66, then 103. Right? And then the question I have, the question I have, do you like engineering mathematics? Do you like scientific maths? If you like, then it is your right place for you to keep on loving it. So then the question asks you, find the estimate, find the estimate, find the estimate of the mean. Find the estimate of the mean amount, mean amount of diamonds. Diamonds claimed, claimed in all files, in all files, in all files all fires of the type of the type of the type being considered being considered or being considered so that's the question that's the end of the question so let us read clear okay. stop writing let us read the questions understand it and solve and we continue to estimate the average amount of the diamond. So it means that uh, the aim is to average amount of the damage. Claimed in the fires at the medium size apartment complexes. A consumer organization sampled the files of the large insurance company to come up with the following in thousands of dollars for the 10 claims. This is the list of the 10 claims. And then the question asks you find the estimate of the mean according of the uh, of the mean amounts of the damage claimed in all fires of the, in all fires of forty of the types being considered, right? So we solve. So we follow uh, different steps of solving. Just yes, three steps. The first step. The first step we say that recall uh, the formula. The formula of what of computing, the formula of computing, computing mean, right? Because that is sample computing mean of 40 of ungrouped data. So I've already mentioned in the previous lecture, but in case that you forgot, is the formula. So we say that the mean, or we say that mean of sampling distributions of mean. This will be summations of 40 of the statistical that will be given from i is equal to 1 to n and then over the number of items. So that's the general formula for this case. So we used to call it, uh, uh, possibly, we used to call it. Mm -hmm. So this we used to call it the point estimate, or sometimes uh, in all level we used to call this means uh, by using this symbol. But for this case, because we are dealing with a sample, so it's a mean or sampling distributions of the mean. This is equal to the summations of the statistical data that we give us from i is equal to one to n, and then it's divided by n. So then, because the questions ask us to find average. So you have to find the average of 40 of the files of the 10 claims. So the average will be, we take the statistical data 101 plus 40 plus 55, and then plus 40 plus, plus 55 plus 63, and then plus 12, and then plus 40 plus 8, and then plus 141, then plus 40, then plus, uh, then plus, Say that plus plus forty two, then plus fifty one, then plus uh, sixty six, and then plus one hundred and three, and we divide by how many claims? We have ten claims. So the mean of sampling distributions of mean 
if you use your scientific calculator on adding the numerator and dividing with the denominator of 10, then you find the print estimate will be uh, 6632. So this is the average. But the question asks you to find the estimates of the mean amounts of the damage claimed in all fires or faulting of the case being considered. So, so we say that it means we want to make estimates of the fire damage claims in terms of dollar. Because we say that in, uh, we say that in thousands of dollars. So it means that in, uh, to come up with the following in thousands of dollars. So that the aim. So it means that the mean, the mean fires. So we say the mean amounts of damage is that one. But in terms of dollars, so this is the second step. Second step, we say that computed, we compute the mean of sampling distributions of mean. So then we go for the third step. So remember that this is the mean of the MADD file. So mean of the MADD, the MADD files. The MADD files. So the third step, let us compute or calculate or find, we say that compute the estimate. So compute the estimate that the insurance companies has to pay uh, those, the company, the company, the organization, it means the consumer organization sample, okay? The apartments, okay? So it means that the companies, we are computing the estimate amount in US dollar that the company has to pay for the apartment complexes. So compute the estimate in what? In USD dollar. So the estimates will be what? So the estimate, the estimate will be the average number of files. Mean that we say that will be the mean of sampling distributions of sum multiplied by what? Multiplied by 1,000 US dollar, right? So then if that the case, we say that the estimate in USD dollar, this will be 66.2 times 1,000. So then we say that now the estimate of the mean amount of damage, the estimate, so we conclude the estimate of the mean amount, of the mean amount of 40 of damage, mean amounts of damages, Okay, is what it is. If you multiply, you use your scientific calculator, the response will be 6.6, no, 6,600 6, 6, US dollar. So we start writing the symbol for the dollar. So this is the symbol for the dollar. And then it is 66,600. 6, 6, 6, and 200 US dollar. So this is the final response. So in case you didn't understand or you have any question, don't hesitate yourself to ask in the comment section, right? <coughs> mathematics is beautiful and especially engineering mathematics. And in case you find that maybe I'm teaching fast or I'm teaching quickly, so please don't hesitate yourself to pause the video and re repeat the video several times as well as you can. Okay? So this again, it is in case you want to offer your sense giving, sense giving offering for the, your yeah, sense giving offering for this program for many lectures of probability and statistics to be in air. So that's the aim of this number. So you can use plus two five five seven five nine seven four five three three one. Okay. So then that is all about point estimation. Yes, that's all about point estimation. That's what you have to know. But point estimation means that many other problems there will be similar like this one. So you just you see and then you identify that this is the point estimations about population mean you solve and then move. So we go to the next second concept. We call it the point estimate of standard deviation before we go for the balance. Point estimate. 
So we call it a print estimate or print estimator of 40. So print estimator of standard deviation of mean of standard deviation means of population that they mean standard deviation. So in statistical probability we use this symbol to notate the standard deviation right of mean. So again I would like just to introduce to you a concept and then we go to solve I will give you I will teach you how to solve one example and we'll off we go to the next concept. Okay. So before we go to the general formula, we say that first of all, the standard deviations of mean is also known as standard error. So we say that uh, uh, this the point. The standard deviation, standard deviation of 40 of mean. And these standard deviations of mean, we have this symbol. Standard deviations of mean is also known. It's also known in statistics as what is as standard error. So this we call it also standard error. So when you hear standard error, we mean that it is what it is. We mean about what the standard deviations of the sum or the standard deviations of mean, okay? So, if that the case, you say that generally, the standard error of finite, generally the standard error, the one that you are learning right now, of what? Of finite population can be computed can be computed by using this formula by using this formula so by using what formula so this one to say sound deviation of mean is equal to sound deviation of population and then divided by the square root of sample size so, if you have gone through the lectures of uh, the lectures of what the lectures of chapter two of this module in the same YouTube channel, I've already taught you, and we did many questions, and we, we classified that we have finite population and infinite population. So, finite populations is what finite population the populations whose size is known, while in finite population the population that we cannot determine its size. So it's infinite, right? So infinite, the very huge population. So these symbols, it means just to remind you, this one stands for what? So this is stands for standard deviation, STD. And then and this is we call it this sample size. So this is stands for the what? Sample size, because there's also uh, conditions to choose the sample as long as we we learn in this topic, because we learn about large samples. And also, we learn about small samples here in this topic. So, stay tuned. So, while this one I represent the standard deviation of 40, sampling distribution, sampling distribution of 40 of mean are the names of this one. So, by using this formula, we can find the point estimate of 40, point estimate of standard deviation. Interesting. <laughs> so please tell me you are enjoying this material from which institution or from which university or from which college or from which regions or from which continent. Tell me in the comment section so I may acknowledge you. Okay? So so that therefore so next I have to give you a, a problem and teach you how we can solve it. So we go for example two. So in example two, the question states a little bit long question. It's the one of the long question, but just read it and then uh, extract the important information. Successful test is for the label 
When you say test, we don't mean that the educational test. Can I have even biological test here? Okay. Or uh, we call it yeah, laboratory test. Okay. For the level, for the level of potassium. It's a level of potassium in an individual. In an individual. Okay, in an individual, individual's blood. Very, very, because, very because of the basic imprecision. Of the basic imprecision. The basic precision of the test of the test. Okay? And then and because the actual label and because actual label because the actual label itself varies. Its level itself varies depending on such thing. Depending on such things as the amount that the amount of food recently. Recently eaten. Okay, recently eaten, and the amount of ex exhortation and the amount of exhortation. Exhortation recently undergone. Recently undergone. So the question is still continuing. So be patient. Suppose it is known statistic is beautiful. It's known that for a given for a given individual. successful reading the successful reading of potassium level potassium level vary around vary around a mean value a mean value with a standard deviation so standard deviation Of 
0.3. If a set of four readings, four readings, okay, four readings on a particular individual, on a particular individual. Equal individual yields the data three point six, three point nine, three point four, three point five. Estimate the mean of potassium. Made the mean of potassium of of potassium vapor. Potassium level that of that person level. Of that person estimate. Estimate standard error. Estimate standard error of the estimate. Of the estimate. At the question. Yes, so we have two questions. So let us read. <laughs> it's two columns. Just fight the two columns of the blackboard. Don't worry, it's a very simple question. Successful testing for the level of potassium in an individual's blood vary because of the best impression. So you see the statistic sometimes solve problems in medicine, right? Because this is a kind of medical test. In patients of the testing, and because the actual level itself varies depending on such things as the amounts of the food recently eaten. So it means the amounts of the potassium level. Uh, in my body, right? Depends on the amounts of the food that recently I've eaten before I teach this lecture. And the amounts of the exhortations recently undergone. So you see that? So it depends on the various dependings or not. On such the amounts of the food, you see, the amounts of the food eaten recently, and also the amounts of what of exhortations recently undergone. Suppose, this is suppose, so this is all. Suppose, it is known that for a given individual, such as Sir Olenjo, like Marco Tanyelo Singo, uh, the successive readings of the potassium level vary around a mean value, which is this, uh, with the standard deviations of 0 0.3. So this is the known standard deviations. Remember that in this formula, we need known standard deviations of population. But what are we doing? So it means we want to compute the point estimate of 40 of the standard deviations of the sample. If a set of four readings were, were on a particular individual gives the data like this one, after four, means the test of four readings, I did in lab, in certain lab, maybe in my Billy lab, gives 3.6, 3.9, and 3.4, and 3.5, so it's varying. Okay? Then, Roman R ah, estimate the means of the potassium level of that person. Who person? Possibly you, who is watching this video right now. B, estimate the standard error of the estimate. So standard error of estimates is what I'm teaching. So A is just a uh, repetition. It means that just like a uh, repetition of what I told you about point estimator of something of, of mean, right? And then B, that's the target. When, that's the concept we are learning right now. So solution, we can solve together. Okay, I will leave the homeworks at the end of this lecture that you can try your, yourself. So solution. So you say that the first thing we have to, the first thing we have to recall the formula of what? So the formula of sampling distribution of means. 
sampling distribution of means and also at means quaintest meter of mean and quaintest meter of standard deviation. So you have to record that formula. So this we call the sampling distribution of mean or we call the statistical mean and the formula also of sun standard deviations of sampling distributions of means, which is this one, right? So for Romani R, I have told you in, I've told you a few minutes ago that the means of sampling distributions of means, this is given as what? The sum of statistical data. So the sum of statistical data from I is equal to one to N of what? Over N. So then we say that the mean of sampling distributions of means, so we have this average, which is 7.6 plus what? 7.9 plus what? 7.4 plus what? Then we have what is 7.5. So 7.5, then we divide by what? We divide by 4. So if you do your computation, you find that the response will be uh, 0 or will be what, 3.6. So for using a scientific calculator or simple computations, the average of the means is 3.6. So it's made the means of the potassium label. So it says that therefore, the mean of potassium label, the mean of potassium label in that individual, is what is 3.6 so that's the mean then we go for Roman B Roman B asks us to make the standard error of the estimate so the formula for the standard error of the estimate is equal to standard deviations of the populations of our team sample size so the standard deviations the data we have been given the standard deviation uh, vary around the mean value with the standard deviations of 0 0.3. So standard deviations of the population is 0 0.3. And then the sample size, what the sample size? That has been the size of the sample. Right? Okay, so the sample size is four, right? So the sample size is four. So we have, uh, uh, it means that we have readings, we have four, read we have four readings on a particular individual uh, after a test. So the sample size is four. So then, what are we computing? The standard error. So for that case, the standard error for this case is equal to 0 0.3, then divided by square root of the sample size, which is equal to 4. So if you use your scientific calculator, the response will be 0 0.3. So if you simplify, get 0 0.3 over 2. So the response is 0 0.215. That's the standard error. So the standard error for this problem is what is? So the standard error is 0 0.15, right? So the actual mean will be not even different from the means by the more than that. We can be quite confident that, okay? So we say therefore the standard, the standard error Standard error is what? So this is according to the sum of the references. All of these questions, I took them from the reference books that I've mentioned. Standard error for the potassium level error of the estimate is what? So is 0 0.15. So again, we can think statistically, and the way that we can think statistically, we can conclude this observation like this that we can be quite confident, we can be quite confident, confident, can be quite confident uh, that the actual mean, that the actual mean, actual mean, will not differ of population will not differ 
will not differ from 3.6 by more than. more than 0 So that is all about point estimate of standard deviation. Trust it. Yes, you have any question, don't hesitate yourself. Ask in the comment sections so that I can answer, I can claim a level best to answer. Remember that Ole Jolai does not know everything about probability and statistics. I just know a small portion. But I'm ready to share with anybody who is in need of what they know. That's the truth. So I'm still learning the subject of probability and statistics. So don't think that they know everything. You know, because sometimes that you find that because of the gift of teaching that God has given me, you can find that I'm teaching students from, you know, uh, ordinary secondary schools to the uh, university level. So sometimes, you know, people that they can just boast me and uplift me. No. Okay. So that's all about print estimate for the mean and print estimate for standard deviation. So we still have the last part. Mention it if you do remember. Because I introduced these two con these three concepts at the beginning of the lecture. So what the next concept? Point estimations of variance. So the next point, the next concept is point estimator or point estimation. So point estimator of 40 variance. And this we call it statistical variance. So variance. <laughs>